Hey guys, me your host SuperSorrel, thank you very much for tuning in. So, as 2018 draws to a close today, I thought I'd just share with you kind of my thoughts and feelings going into 2019. I'm very excited about what's in store for 2019. We've got a lot of big movies coming out. Now, let me just move the camera over here so I can play with the mouse here while I'm talking to you. Because we've got Avengers Endgame. Now, nothing has been announced toy-wise other than a few legends. Nothing's really been announced as to what's coming out. And when, with, with Infinity War, a lot of the toys never made it to the UK. There was like two or three waves to those six-inch figures. And we only got the first wave in the UK. And all the rest of them are ridiculously priced online. So, we had the toy collapse as well in the UK. Obviously, Toys R Us went down this year. So, maybe it's to do with that. I don't know. But Marvel's Avengers Endgame uh, will be getting a lot of toys for that. There's also Captain Marvel on the horizon. And I've got a few of her toys announced already. And I'm going to show you some of the things I'm looking forward to in a few moments. But there's also a bunch of other films that are coming out that have not been announced for toys yet. Including Toy Story 4. We've got the the re-release of Lion... Well, it's not... It's the remake of Lion King. It's not live action. Same with Aladdin. There's a new Aladdin film. There's the Dark Phoenix X-Men movie. Now, they probably won't make many toys to do with that. But a bunch of X-Men comic book stuff will probably launch about that time of that movie. Disney's also releasing Dumbo. And then we've got Hellboy as well. Now, I know there's not going to be much, many toys around for Hellboy because of the age certificate of the movie. But they'll usually release a bunch of collectible stuff. So hopefully we'll get a new Hellboy action figure. Because the Ron Pelman Hellboy figures that they release, they're ridiculously priced now. You can't get them for the love of money. And when you do find them, they're ridiculously priced. So I'm hoping some new Hellboy merchandise will drop with that movie. There's also the Lego Movie 2. I'm very excited about that. NECA have also announced a bunch of action figure releases. I've got some already announced. Some I'm waiting for photos of that include like... Um, like Ace Ventura and all sorts, but again, we'll talk about NECA in a few minutes. Uh, we've also got the Shazam movie. I'm not sure how that's going to go down. It's a DC movie, but we'll wait and see. Star Wars as well towards the back end of the year. Oh my god, Star Wars is back again on our screens. So we're going to have a boatload of new stuff, and there's probably going to be a Force Friday, because this is like a proper Star Wars movie. It's an, epi it's an episodic movie. So, episode 9 is definitely going to have a uh, Force Friday, so we'll look forward to hearing about, about that. Spider-Man Far From Home is next year as well. There's so going to be a load of merchandise for that. Godzilla, the King of Monsters is coming out. Men in Black International, sort of a reboot of the Men in Black franchise, now with Chris Hemsworth and Liam Neeson. Should do well, that movie. Hoping it's going to do well. Um, I'm hoping they release a toy line. Could do with some action figures for Men in Black. New Mutants as well. We're finally getting the New Mutants movie next year. Um, isn't that is that new Joker movie releasing next year as well? I know they've done a load of stuff for it. I'm not sure. It might be that Joker movie. Uh, Detective Pikachu as well. There's going to be merchandise for that. I hope they release a Pikachu with Ryan Reynolds' voice. I'm buying that and I'm reviewing it if they do. Frozen 2. There's going to be a massive release for Frozen. Uh, House Trainee Dragon. We've already done the toys for that. That's coming out pretty soon, I think. But Frozen 2 is going to have a massive toy release. I'm just, I just know it. So hopefully we'll see that. Um, what else have we got? Artemis Fowl's coming out. That's based on a book I'm not too bothered about. But we're going to be getting um, the new Terminator movie. That'll probably get some toys released for it. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie. As weird as it looks. Hopefully we'll get some toys for that as well. Wonder Park's coming out. There'll be toys for that. I think that's going to be it toy-wise for the year. There's also a film there. Um, it's called Hobbs and Shaw. Isn't that from Fast and Furious? Yeah, Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw, an upcoming American film directed by David Leach. is a spin-off of Fast and Furious. Oh, no. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, The Rock. Why does The Rock, you don't even need the money. I would say he needs the money, but he doesn't. <laughs> Not sure how that's going to pan out. But guys, let's take a few minutes to look through some of the toys that I'm most excited about for 2019. Now, like I said, don't forget, these are just some of the newest stuff that's been announced, really. Some stuff I've talked about before that I'm excited about, but there's a lot of stuff we're still waiting to get announcements for. So please bear with me, and we'll talk about um, the new stuff that's coming out, because I'm quite excited for 
So, first thing we're looking at here, looks like we're going to be getting a new Supergirl again. I actually like the design of that Supergirl. The new Wonder Woman looks pretty awesome as well. And a new Superman there that looks pretty cool. Um, these figures do look pretty nice. These are going to be DC collectibles, so they shouldn't be affected by the whole Mattel situation, but who knows. Those figures look pretty nice, though. I can't wait to get my hands on that Supergirl. Ace Ventura from NECA here looks pretty awesome. He even seems to come with, is it called Spike, I believe he's called, his little monkey? He even comes with him as well. It's a really cool action figure. I think it really captures Jim Carrey's likeness quite well. I uh, love the little hair flick and everything. It just looks like Ace Ventura. Can't wait to get that in hand and see how this feels, whether that is cloth material on him or whether it's um, more of a vinyl and stuff. Can't wait to see what it feels like. It looks to be a great action figure. I was a big fan of Ace Ventura growing up, so can't wait to get my hands on that figure this year it's going to be a great great figure that now blink is a figure that i've been dying to get my hands on for a while obviously she uh, appeared in a couple of the x-men movies uh, that it was if dawn of future past i think she she appeared in for a brief couple of minutes but this is her comic book variant she's been coming back recently in the exiles comic so i'm really excited to get my hands on this figure plus obviously with the rise of the tv show x-men the gifted uh, she's become she well she is a major character in that so I'm glad this figure's coming out I can't wait to get my hands on it as part of that X Men wave that's coming it's going to be a great wave that I've got a, another figure in this uh, in this lot as well that's going to be from that wave but Blink just looks awesome cannot wait to get my hands on her like I said she's going to be an awesome figure to have in the collection oh my God Ebony Moore's coming and let's just make sure I don't have to tear it off someone's corpse. It looks a great figure, and I can't wait for the second part of the Infinity War stuff to come out. Uh, this figure is going to be awesome. I hope they release the rest of uh, Thanos' children. Uh, this figure is going to be awesome. Though I need this to go with my Doctor Strange figure. I want to recreate that scene from the movie. So this legend is definitely one I'm going to be getting. I wonder who the, if, that, if that's going to be exclusive, or whether it's going to be part of a bath. Would be nice to get maybe another Thanos bath in a different armor for the new movie. Who knows? But yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on this figure. Now, the Solo movie wasn't my favorite of the Star Wars movies, but it's by far not the, not my least favorite. So Solo came out this last year, and the toy line is slowly coming out. Um, this is part of the Black Series line from Star Wars and Hasbro. It looks okay. It's, it's you know it's Han Solo in his in his um, trooper gear really. So meh. We'll get it. We'll see what it's like. Um, I might actually like weather mine a little bit. I might customize it a bit and make him a bit more muddy like in the movie. But either way, it's going to be another Black Series to collect. I'm probably going to get this one. Uh, it depends who else is in the wave with him, but definitely probably get this one. You know me and my Star Wars. I have to get them all. But um, yeah, this was probably one of the ones that I was excited about. But then I, after looking at it for a few minutes, I'm kind of like, meh, I'm not that bothered. But I will probably get it. And uh, yeah, the Star Wars needs to do something drastic because I am slowly losing interest. Um, getting more into the Marvel stuff over this past year, so let's hope Star Wars can turn it around with the Episode Nine stuff. Now, some stuff that was announced was new Jurassic Park merchandise. Look at those action figures of the characters from the movie there. I really want those, and obviously they've got the new dinosaurs that are a bit more articulated and going to be in scale with them. So yeah, can't wait to get my hands on these. I'm not buying any more of the regular stuff until this has been fully um, realised and announced. These look like they've got a lot more articulation to them. They just look brilliant. I can't wait to get my hands on them. Uh, hopefully I might see these at London Toy Fair because I haven't seen these fully announced yet anywhere, really. They kind of appeared at Toy Fair, I think, in 2018. So let's hope that Mattel have got this stuff on, uh, on you know, to look at on for 2019 as well. Uh, can't wait for London Toy Fair. That's right around the corner, so I'll get a lot more stuff and a lot more news for you as I go to the Toy Fair. But are you looking forward to this line? Let me know. Now, I resisted the urge to get Dr. Afra in her regular attire. Sorry, in her six, uh, three-inch line, rather. I uh, waited for the six-inch figure to come out, and I'm really excited for the six-inch one. So I will be getting the six-inch to go with the rest of my figures. Um, I do normally go for the three-inch lines. I'm a big sucker for the three-inch lines, but I do prefer the basic three-inch line rather than a black series. But this is definitely coming out in a six-inch, so I need this in six-inch scale. Uh, I've been a big, big fan of the comic books. She's uh, worked with Vader a few times in the comic books and things. So I really want this figure so I can do some nice dioramas with her and some nice photos and stuff. I'm um, hoping her droids come with her as well or whether they'll come separately later on in the six-inch scale. But yeah, we definitely need this figure and I can't wait for it.
We're slowly completing the rest of the Rebels line, one figure at a time, it seems, per year. <laughs> this time, it's Ezra Bridger. Really can't wait to get my hands on him. He comes with his helmet as well, which is awesome, and his original blaster. I think, as much as he's cooler to look at, I wish they'd have gone for maybe Season 3 or 4 Ezra, where he's a little bit older with the shaved head, and maybe he comes with a lightsaber that can go different, like green or red or blue, depending on how you see Ezra's future going. You know what I mean? I'd love to see that. But they've gone with the basic Ezra from Season 1 again. Meh. Ugh. I wish they'd have gone for like Season 2 or 3 Ezra, like I said. But yeah, we'll see. I still want this figure either way. I love Rebels. I love the TV series. I wish it wasn't gone, but I know why they did it. They wanted to end it properly this time around. Obviously, they didn't get to end Clone Wars properly, which they're now correcting this next year. Look forward to that too, by the way. But yeah, we're getting an Ezra figure. As always, we need an Ezra, so yeah, can't wait to complete the wave with that Ezra. So as well as the 6-inch line for Captain Marvel from Legends, which I've already pre-ordered, guys, there's going to be a bunch of other things like dolls and other figures coming out, which I'm probably going to collect, especially this doll line. I'm really liking the look of the dolls from this film. Um, definitely going to be picking this one up. I think the doll looks really nice. And it seems to capture her likeness pretty well. And I think this is something that, like, my daughter would look up to and play with. So I'm glad, you know, they're finally doing this and making the dolls in this line. So let's hope these come out pretty well. And let's hope Disney Store in the UK stock them so we can get our hands on them. Here's a secondary doll from the line as well in the blue armor. Oh, uh, well, turquoisey green, would you say? Looks pretty cool. Like I said, I just can't wait to get my hands on this wave of stuff. There's a lot coming out for Captain Marvel. I think I think Marvel have really, you know, they're, they're putting out so much merch for this movie that I think they know they've got a, a you know a hit on their hands here. So let's hope, let's pray the film's great, and let's hope the merchandise is good too. Can't wait for it. We're right around the corner of 2019, guys. Just one more day to go to get us there. So can't wait to see these figures come out. Of course, I couldn't get out of this video without talking about Batman the Animated Series. I have mentioned these figures before, but it looks like we're getting a re-release of Two-Face or a new Two-Face. We've had that before, I think. Have we had that? I don't know. But we are getting the Scarecrow from the first uh, version of Batman the Animated Series rather than the, re the, um, the new Batman Adventures, which we got last time. This is the traditional Scarecrow, so that is the figure I'm mainly excited about. But um, H-A-R-D-A-C, or Hardak, however you want to pronounce it, that's going to be a great figure as well, obviously the uh, robot Batman. So really looking forward to that line. Um, probably won't get the whole wave on this. I might wait till they drop in price a bit, but I probably will pre-order Scarecrow if he's available to pre-order separately. Um, Scarecrow is definitely the standout in that wave. Love that animated face. Can't wait to get my hands on them. So Marvel Legends and Hasbro are going to be kicking the Deadpool cash cow again this year, and I'm not mad about it. It's going to be awesome. Look at this scooter. So obviously Deadpool 2, he rides off on that little scooter, and everyone found that amazing and hilarious. So they're releasing a little scooter for Daredevil. Uh, Daredevil? Deadpool. Obviously they can't say outright this is Deadpool 2 scooter. They never do that. They always say it's the comic book version. So this is the scooter uh, that he'll be riding on. And I believe they are releasing a pink variant for Gwenpool. I believe. I may be wrong about this, but I've seen, whether it's customization, I don't know, but I have seen little pink Vespers that that legend figure has been riding on, and I really hope it's real. <laughs> Can anyone confirm or deny in the comments below for me? But I'm sure I've seen it somewhere. Hopefully again, Toy Fair London, we might get hands-on with some of these things there, so fingers crossed. Back to talking about NECA though, and they're going to be releasing a Kenner line again, and this time it's the uh, re-releases of the Kenner uh, T2 figures. I really need this line. I'll be pre-ordering all three figures. I'm hoping they do some more. I would like a new Sarah Connor figure. So let's hope and let's pray that we get some good figures in this wave. I really need that figure line. Look at it. It's just so good. Need it, need it, need it, need it, need it, need it. Hasta la vista, baby. Are you going to be pre-ordering this one, guys? Let us know. So, guys, this isn't for everybody, but the Lego Movie part two will be dropping and they're releasing a um, blind bag series again for it they've got a bunch of wizard of oz characters that are in this which is making me get excited for this wave um there's also by the looks of it a new um we've got the wizard of oz characters we've got some of the characters from the movie there um and there's a couple more that apparently are hidden i just want those uh i want the um the lion and the this tin man and 
Ah, oh, and the scarecrow and Dorothy with oh, I just I just need them. <laughs> so I'm not gonna collect the whole bunch, but I need the Wizard of Oz characters from that blind bag set. What do you think, guys? Are you gonna be collecting them? Let me know in the comments. It's the re-release I've been waiting for. It's finally happening. Weapon X Wolverine. We did get a Toy Biz version of this a long, 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 long time ago, long before I was collecting Toy Biz ones. And we're finally getting the Hasbro re-release. I need this figure so bad. It's part of my childhood. I love Wolverine. You know, you guys know I collect all the Wolverine figures. So, really excited. Can't wait to get my hands on that one. It's part of the X-Men wave and it's coming. I can't wait. And finally, guys, it seems with the, uh, the, the Star Wars Destiny dolls and the popularity they kind of been getting, it looks like the Marvel Secret... Well, Rising Secret Warriors or the... Um, Marvel Rising TV series is going to be releasing the figure line. This so far we're getting the doll line. I haven't heard anything about a six inch line, although I'm praying for a six inch line. But in this series, it, when it does come out, I will be getting Spider Gwen and I will be getting Squirrel Girl. Not sure about the rest of the series, but definitely Spider Gwen and Squirrel Girl. And I've also seen that Spider Gwen also has civilian clothing, whether or not that's underneath the costume or what. I don't know whether it's a separate doll, I don't know, but I need both. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be collecting those next year as well. So guys, that's just a taste of things that are to come. Don't forget, I'm going to London Toy Fair. I'm there for the press launch, which is going to be the Tuesday, the first day of the actual event. I'll be in London, and I'll be um, definitely, definitely, definitely going to be hitting up the Toy Fair, like I said, and I'll be uh, hopefully meeting with some of them. I haven't got it 100% confirmed yet, but it's more or less confirmed that I'm going to be seeing a bunch of people. Uh, so I'm really excited about going down there, seeing the toy lines that are coming out and doing some filming. So I'll be doing a vlog here for you guys so you'll be able to see the entire adventure of me going to London because I'm going to be meeting up with my rep from YouTube as well. So hopefully I can do a bit of filming around the YouTube building, uh, the YouTube space London. But also the Toy Fair is the big one. I'm going to be filming that the entire day. I've got my uh, dad going with me actually to be my cameraman. So he'll be holding the cameras. I'll be in front of the camera the whole time, which is great. And I'll be able to talk you guys through some of the greatest figures that are coming out. Uh, there's a bunch of people there. There's Hasbro there. There's Bandai there. Funko are going to be there, uh, Disney have got a stall, oh it's going to be great and I can't wait to look around because they have like the setups of what toys are coming out in 2019 and hopefully I can grab one of the Hasbro reps and we can talk through some of the legends, hopefully if they've got legends on display, <sighs> I can't wait to see what they've got. Guys as well, would anyone be interested in doing a London meetup because obviously I'm going to be at, I'm going down on the uh, Monday. I'm at Toy Fair Tuesday, but Monday evening, we'll, me and my dad will just be on our own in London. So I'm thinking about doing a meetup somewhere. So if anyone's interested in doing a London meetup with Super Sorrel, hit me up in the comments below and let me know where I should hold my meetup in London. Guys, as always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and that notification bell. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's. Thank you for the support and everything you guys have done for me in 2018. And I can't wait to see what 2019 holds. Does it hold a shave? I don't know. You guys went mad last time I shaved this beard off. I am one hell of a neck beard though. <laughs> I need to do something. I'm going to die in that Florida heat if I've got this bad boy. But what do you think? Should I shave? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you guys in 2019. Have an awesome day and a safe new year. Best wishes from my family to yours. May the force be with you. Bye.